Welcome to my prediction for Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 8. Now, first of all, I'd like to say that the preview for this shows us we're going to be getting some Naruto action in this. So that is awesome. So we get to see the narrator talking and how something is wrong. And everybody's commenting on how Boruto is acting weird. Now, first of all, I'd like to say that it's quite obvious that he has become infected with this dark chakra. And this is how Naruto is going to be. And this is, I think, what's going to involve Naruto in this heavily. With, like, this is going to be the event and make Naruto be like, Okay, I'm devoting all of the village resources to solving this. Because this time got my son. Like, this is now serious. So Hinata contact, Hinata and Naruto are talking. Hinata said that Boruto been acting strange. Himawari, you see her that she's afraid. So she's probably afraid of Boruto. Um... I maybe we'll get to see Himawari and Boruto fight. That would be really cool because we know from Naruto from from the day Naruto became Okage special that came along with the Boruto movie that Himawari is really powerful. Because Himawari gentle fit was able to take out an off guard Naruto Uzumaki. So yeah, this girl the god. This girl is the goddess. This girl um the girl like four. She's and she might as well just proclaim herself as the god of the birth. She has one shot. She one shot at Naruto, for God's sake. But, um, no, but besides, but there isn't much else. Um, I do believe that Naruto is going to stick with ever in Boruto. I believe this will be one of those episodes where we're going to get to see the old cast be cool again. And we'll get to see Naruto stay in Boruto, probably. And you'll have, like, a little father son moment. Maybe, maybe actually Naruto will be the one to trigger it, because it's always negative emotions that trigger it. Maybe Naruto will do something that pisses Boruto off or really hurts his feelings, and that will be uh, what triggers him to awaken the dark chakra thing. And maybe while he's in the form, he'll figure out what's going on, or something along those lines. I also think it's possible that maybe Naruto will capture Boruto, but not free him, and take him to Sakura. We haven't seen Sakura, we, they need to introduce Sakura in this, and I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity. Naruto just easily just, like, grab Boruto's hand, like, just, like, just grab his hand and just carry them. Like, just, it's, I mean, well, let's be honest, Naruto could pick up a dark chakra and have Boruto by the, by the hair and just carry the to, to, to the Uchiha household. So I think it's also very possible to take him to the Uchiha household and have Sakura look at him and, you know, maybe, like, combining me and... Maybe by Naruto, but if they get, maybe like Shikamaru will come along and look at all combined information, and maybe Naruto and Sakura will come to some kind of conclusion. Or maybe Sakura will give him information that he can use to come to a conclusion. It's also very possible it'll take him there, Sakura will take like a sample and start some kind of study. Maybe make some kind of study, like, well, and then maybe Sakura will have some kind of study. I think that's possible. The these are about loads of the older cats. I'll think if maybe, maybe, we'll get a throw it over to Zerata fight. Now this is just me spitting shit out of my ass. But what if all the stuff I said before were wrong and the one to free forward to with Zerata? You know, I'm gonna think I'll probably end up being Miki, but there's that small Naruto fanboy in me that is like, how epic would it be to, to see Zerata and Boruto fight? Daughter of Sake versus Son of Naruto would be so epic, and it would be start. Uh, and it would be the beginning of a low hate, love hate relationship. Both Sara for life. I'm just saying. <laughs> I also like literally one of the reasons I support that pairing is solely because their king would be so overpowered. It would be cool. Like I just want them to have a kid because that king, like Uchiha, Haru, Uchiha, Hyuga. Thank you, like, ooh, Uchiha, Uchiha, Hyuga, Uzumaki, I miss it, and the Haruno, like, you know, and also, there is something weird about the Haruno clan, I'll go more of this in another video, but Sakura did seem to have, like, a split personality thing going on, I'm not sure what that was about, but she had it, I'm actually going to do a video about the, uh, I don't know how my thoughts on the, the Haruno, on Sakura, on uh, inner Sakura and stuff, but, and how that could affect the Boruto story, because it's, uh, there's obviously something special about Sakura that would never explore, explored. 
Besides for that, that is about all I have to say in this video. Um, I think there's a chance of Naruto and Sakura becoming involved next episode. M because they'll probably be, Naruto will, will uh, stop Boruto and Sakura will perform some kind of test on him. I think Boruto, while he's in a controlled state, will figure out what's going on. And then you can buy, and then when Naruto, when Naruto gives Boruto, tell Boruto what Sakura found, when Boruto tells Naruto what he found, all that information will go together, and father and son will figure out what is going on, and Naruto, and somehow Boruto, Miki, and, and all of them will end up handling And somehow, Boruto, Sarada, and Miki will then end up solving the problem. Hope you guys enjoyed this prediction. I'm sorry about the quality, I know it's not great. I'm at my grandparents right now, and I just figured I wanted to get this over with while I was in the mood. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, by the time you've seen this, I probably should have recorded a One Piece video I plan on doing. So, yeah, be on the lookout for my upcoming One Piece video. And, yeah, have a great day, guys.